I made a previous video where I covered the 20T and the 20D, going over the specs and the comparison between the two. This one, I am solely focusing on the 20T. This is a user experience review of the Nearstream AWM 20T. My user experience of using these microphones so far is that I do like that it comes in a carrying case. I do like that it comes with two transmitters and one receiver. It comes with all the peripherals that I need for if I'm shooting with a client, if I'm talking with a client for, you know, meeting them via a video call. It also attaches to a phone and in case you're on a go and you need to hop on a video call, you want clear audio versus using the microphone straight out of the can out of your phone or tablet or computer. Great for that. That's what I like most about these microphones. What I don't like so far is the AI noise cancellation feature. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that after we watch this little brief clip of me using these microphones in a professional shoot where I did mic up a client with these microphones um, using the noise cancellation feature. And it sounds good, but there's just one thing that really stood out to me as I was using it. But let's watch this and then we'll come back and talk more about the AWM 20Ts. My name is Astrid. I am a lifestyle and event photographer and I love to shoot with the Fujifilm X-H1. I'm a creature of habit, so I love to shoot with the 35 millimeter F1.4. So the clients arrived. Um, so I love shooting with the Fujifilm X-H1 because it's a light camera. Also, the quality of the image comes out as I picture it in my mind. It's a great camera, it's compact. I love the size of the lens and I just love the feel of it. It has a grip on it, so it makes me feel like I'm holding something cool, good and cool. And the screen also uh, flips. So if I want to do a overhead shot for a kid, I can actually see. Uh, if I want to do a higher shot or lower shot, I can actually see what I'm shooting. So I'm not sure if you were able to hear but in the video clips or in the audio clips when I was editing them down with the AI noise cancellation feature on, there was some feedback or just some noise where the, it sounds like the noise floor was increased in the microphone when using an AI feature and they were in the talent talked. So whenever they talked, I would hear more pickup of the background noises versus when no one is talking and you were just picking up some of the background noise, which it came through very clear. I mean, I, I do like the quality of the microphones, but it just does that one thing with the AI noise cancellation feature on, which I didn't quite like. But like I said, I do like everything about this mic, about the way it comes packaged, the carrying case as well. You have everything you need in here. And even if I were to, not want to carry the uh, charging case in here. I have all of this space in here to carry other things that I need while also having this space here to carry everything I need to actually use the microphone. And another thing that I did notice when I was out shooting is that the talent wore a necklace and you can hear the grinding of the metal on the necklace from the pendant she had attached to it. Also, you can hear clicking from either her purse or camera strap or the necklace hitting it. I had to adjust the microphone a few times to get it in a good position to where you did cannot hear it. I'm not sure if the microphones are hollow inside of here, but you can really you can really hear when something hits the microphone. So that was that was a bit annoying. Otherwise, when out and needing to pull this out and making sure that the microphones were charged and ready to go whenever I needed them when I was uh, out there. I mean, it was great, to be honest. I didn't I wasn't really in a market for buying new microphones or buying any of the microphones that had come with charging cases at all whatsoever, because mostly I just use shotgun mics, but Nearstream did reach out, asked me to review these mics. So far, I am enjoying the experience of using these microphones. They are sub $150 microphones. The 20T is, I believe, 130 or 140, and then the 20D is 80 bucks. Fairly affordable microphones that can get what you need. Quality is there. Definitely check out the near streams. I will be making an audio test video where I test out these microphones with different types of in different types of ways. So using it how I'm using it right now, which I have the 20D attached right here, attaching it to an external recorder that records 30-bit float, attaching it to a shotgun mic that I'll set on a table, and a few other ways that I can think of. Because for me, being able to find ways or different ways to use these microphones that are either conventional or unconventional is the best part of testing out audio and seeing the quality you can get out of the microphones that you do use or the microphones you have access to. And although in this video, I did not go over all of the specs as you know, as in depth as I did in this video, you can check this one out and get more of that information on specs while staying awesome.
Stay awesome.